Okay, so we are going to be doing our um, April predictions. So for this reading, we're going to do like a full Celtic spread. It'll be really nice and, and in depth. Um, I do want to say thank you to everybody for all the subscribes and the likes and the shares because the channel is growing amazingly and like I owe that all to you. So um, my deepest, deepest gratitude. It's awesome. Um, all the information that you need about the Divine Guidance deck, that's what we're going to be using for the month of April. I'm Shirley Harnish, by the way. I'm the author of the deck we're going to be using. All the information is down below, and as well as where to contact me for readings and where to find me on Instagram and Facebook and all of those things. So let's get started. Our choice is card number one. Card number two and card number three. Okay, so let's begin. Hi, group one. Okay, so I'm going to fast forward this part, but I'm going to let you see me shuffle and pick the cards and lay them out. And we'll just do this in fast motion. Oh, okay. Um, I'm just taking a second to kind of, you know, take in the story. So I want to start with the very first card that I lay down here. Because this first card kind of represents the theme of the month, um, the situation or what you're going through and stuff like that. And the card that is here for you guys is the blossom, uh, not blossoming, awakening card. And with that card, it really is an awakening on a spiritual level, on a personal level, and even on a, on a social level, um, how you are connecting to other people. Um, with the awakening card, that the, the biggest part of that is like awakening to your own sense of divinity and opening to your personal idea or understanding of what your spirituality is, what your connection with spirit is. And in a very big way, this is about on, in some way really coming to understand that you are God incarnated. So with this card comes meditation. Um, and even if it isn't just formal meditation, it's doing things like, um, you know, mindfulness um, while you're performing tasks, um, awareness, self-awareness at all times. And with this card, it is literally setting the theme for the rest of this reading. And what I loved that the awakening card, like your spirituality is like the foremost important thing for April for you guys is the, you have two cards that have a similar idea of this opening, and that's why I called it blossoming, because it's literally like you guys are blossoming and opening this month. But like I said, the feeling with this card is normally this is just spiritual, but it feels like an awakening even to, you know, your own self. And, you know, sometimes we have desires and dreams and hopes and wishes that are so deep and we feel are so far removed from our lives that that it it almost hurts to think of them or to to even allow ourselves to daydream about them and this is like waking up and awakening to yourself of all of these aspects of yourself that you you maybe even repress or kind of keep hidden and tucked away just to to keep yourself safe and keep your heart safe so you don't have to go through, you know, life's disappointments and all of those things. So it's it's like a reclaiming of yourself and going, you know what, this is who I am. These are the things that I want in life. And this is how um, I'm going to open myself to the universe. And the reason I say you guys are opening up to the universe is because of this card here. So 
I, but first I need to move backwards before I get to that card. So if that card represents you and the month, um, the card behind it represents what the energy is that's kind of moving you forward down your path this month. And this amazing guy, Speak Your Truth, which, I mean, I'm going to bring it up really nice and close, is all, like, <laughs> all blues, um, all these deep indigos. So this is, like really allowing yourself your true expression. So there's a lot about stepping into your truth this month, like your inner truth and reflecting that out in the world. And with speak your truth, um, you know, a lot of the times it does come up when there are situations where, you know, where you tend to like say, oh, you know what, I'm just going to stay quiet and keep my mouth shut and not rock the boat and, and not say anything. And, you know, maybe acquiesce to others um, and take a step back in power just to keep things running smoothly. And with this card being here, this is like, you know, this building up of like just needing to go F it. I, I need to say what I have to say. You know, I have an opinion, thoughts, beliefs. I have whatever the, the situation pertains to. Um, that this is about you really honoring your heart, your truth, what you have to say. And, and this isn't like a confrontational card. This is like really just honoring the truth that sits inside you that, you, that nudges in your gut and that you know is there and that you aren't giving voice to. And this is the energy that's kind of moving you along this month is really expressing yourself and, and speaking your truth. And I do have to say that for many of you, this might be um, in relation to um, insights and things that you have with um, friends or loved ones and stuff like that, that maybe, uh, you know, whether that's intuitive or just, you know, from sitting back watching and observing and, and not saying anything all this time, that it becomes time because it's sitting next or behind it because it's behind this energy of this big opening, right? So that's why it's giving me that feeling. So if that's the energy that's kind of supporting you and coming down the path, this card that sits crosswise is, is like the bridge that gets you over where you are for the month, gets you over the hump and really moving down your path. Now, this guy <laughs> isn't just about opening. This card is called receiving. And I think that that is a big theme that so many of us who are on a spiritual path and who are so service oriented and so giving, you know, you guys have these big hearts and you're always like, oh, hey, I can help. Or, you know, I'll do this for you. Oh, no, 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 no it's okay. I'll do that for free and I'll do this for free. And it's like, heck no, you don't need to do all this for free. You deserve to receive back just as much as anybody else. And especially for those people who are doing quote unquote spiritual work. Um, you know, it's very old school dogma that you do everything for free and all of that stuff. Heck no, <laughs> no. What you have to give has value. It has worth. What you are giving is literally a gift. Okay. Now for the rest of you, it isn't just about seeing the value in, in what you offer in the world, but it's just allowing yourself to receive because what I feel as I'm holding this card in my hand is that a lot of that has to do uh, is around your own feeling of value and worth in the world. And sometimes, you know, we find it hard to receive because we don't feel like we really deserve it or that we're worthy of it. Or, you know, there's so many different psychological aspects that feed into that belief that, that we should only give and not receive. But the other thing that you have to remember is that by allowing others to give to you, that it, you are giving them the gift 
of giving because you know yourself how awesome it feels to give. Like it fills the heart, right? And so maybe take a, take a look at it that way that this is more about you giving the gift of allowing others to give. Now, I do have to say that it feels like there's something coming in for you guys, um, maybe that you aren't expecting uh, this month. And, you know, th it's a group reading, so the energy gets all, you know, there's all these different, <laughs> it, it will be different for, for all of you. But there's something that's going to come in this month that is kind of like one of those, whoa, holy crap, I wasn't expecting that. And, but not a bad one, like a good one. This feels like this whole, the energy of all of this feels so good. So in that allowing and allowing yourself to open, we get to this guy. Now, with this card, this tells me that there's, there's likely going to be an event um, a situation, something like that, that's going to force you to go within. Um, because this card, I mean, it's really amazing, and sometimes it's, it doesn't show up so well on video. Um, it's called Reflections. And this, this bottom part is literally like this water um, reflecting, and it's like pouring down almost like a waterfall. Um, and what that's talking about is, you know, getting into an, a situation that, that causes an emotional reaction and needing to, like, go inside. And through that, through whatever that situation is that forces you inside, is a part of creating this opening for you guys. So you have to remember that any of those events or situations that are happening outside of you they are merely reflections of your own inner beliefs, thoughts, and um, emotions that you've been, been putting out, right? So you can see it as a gift that whatever this is that happens, it's the gift of being able to see the reflection of your own self out in the world so that you can identify that belief and pluck it out of yourself. And so this is talking about taking that time to really go within um, and seeing the gift of what it is that happens. Um, <laughs> so you have speak your truth here at one end and over here you have dragon guide. Now I can see to me, I see a dragon in here. Everybody sees a different thing when it comes to looking at fractals, but with the dragon card, okay, first of all, it's green. So, you know, you've got a lot of these blues here sitting in this row, and then you come to green, which is all about your heart chakra. But woven deep in here is all this yellow. And this is about you know, your power, your personal power and your personal strength that you are holding within and holding back because dragon guide is about standing up for yourself, it's about speaking your truth. It's about breathing a little fire if you need to do that to get your point across, to take a stand for yourself, to draw a boundary because boundaries are really important. And this is like, look, speak your truth, you know, allowing yourself to open up to what's happening, to your own awakening, having a situation that maybe gets you fired up or forces you to look at yourself and your beliefs and standing up for yourself. So there's, there's a huge theme of empowerment coming through with this reading for you guys in April. Now, this bottom row more represents what's here in the physical that you need that will help you to feel supported um, and, and solid and stable as you're going through this month. And, mm-hmm, this is called self-talk. And, you know, I'm sure you guys have heard this. It, it, to me, it looks like a mouth. These are lips and then these teeth turned inwards. And the self-talk card is literally you becoming aware and mindful 
of how it is you're speaking to yourself, the stuff that you are saying to yourself that is, you know, your ego feeding you these thoughts that are like trying to keep you small and trying to keep you little and out of your power and keeping you stuck in these old beliefs that no longer serve you, right? And so this, as a support card, it's like seeing through this reflection and whatever situation's going on, not beating the crap out of yourself, right? Not taking the time or, t or stopping yourself from um, all that negative talk and self-slamming that we can do because that's not going to serve you. It's not going to serve your highest growth. And it feels to me like this is going to be something that you become acutely aware of this month is how you're treating yourself and how you're talking to yourself. And that is definitely going to support you in really opening up yourself. Um, now, the other card that sits in this row is the creative card. And so this one, what I love about this is this is like, it's kind of like a mirror of two sides. Now, with all these orangey red kind of colors in here and the yellow, this is about your sacral chakra. It's about that creative energy, that creative flow, and um, really getting grounded, taking time. Again, this talks about taking time to meditate just like this one does, just like the awakening card does. So it feels like April is a month for you guys where you're really coming back into yourself, like coming back home. And that's a beautiful thing. And with that creative card, um, this is about like tapping in and this could be like you know, your own personal form of art therapy, whether you're doing like scrapbooking or, you know, arts and crafts or drawing or writing or singing or going out and dancing or doing whatever kind of creative things that really juice your soul and feed you back. This is about feeding you back, right? Because that receiving card is there and really diving into that. Now, if I come up here to this row, this row represents more what you're getting on a higher level of uh, like a soul lessons or soul learning. And right above this, you have the cellular healing card. So that tells me that, um, you know, we store our past traumatic or, or emotionally difficult um, events, we store them cellularly in our body. And if they aren't dealt with at some time, at some point, then they can create dis-ease in our body. And to me, what I'm getting with all of this is there's a lot of release for you guys here with all this, how you speak to yourself, um, speaking your truth, standing up for yourself, and the, and the reflection of this, the crap that you can be saying to yourself and feed yourself coming back to you through the reflection of another person. And the whole point of this is that it's for your own healing. And it's like, it's this deep release. That's how this card feels this month. It doesn't feel like, you know, it's all about your physical health and healing. I mean, that will be an aspect, absolutely. And for some of you, it will be key. But for for others of you, or most of you, it feels like it's going to be this release. And that is going to be a beautiful thing. Um, the other card that sits here that's supporting that energy is um, Femme Divine. So this is saying that this is putting you in a place of, um, on a on a spiritual level, of really stepping, like stepping back because masculine energy moves out. It's forward, it's aggressive, and there is some of that kind of energy going on in here. But on a soul level, this is about, you know, that gentle, gentleness, that nurturing, self-care, um, all of that um, divine mother um, and being the source, finding those sources out in the world that feed you in that really beautiful, gentle way to help support that healing and release for you. 
So there's one more card. It usually goes up here at the end, but I wanted to, which is like the final outcome or, um, you know, the main of what's happening for the month. So I feel like this is the card we're going to choose. Ah, look at that. So we have the alignment card. I love that because that just like puts this all in order that, you know, we do have situations sometimes that happen that, you know, feel really crappy in the moment, but there's always a divine reason, a divine purpose that it's, that it's pushing us towards our greatest good, our highest expression, and the true perfection of our divinity, right? And with this card, with the alignment card, it's like, you know, it's like this base is the, the, the physical body and this um, mirror image that's like, it's like the soul and it's like coming into alignment with your higher truth, with your higher gifts. You know, it, it really speaks with this, um, with this awakening card. And, you know, sometimes there is some confusion and, and you know, feeling off balanced and stuff. But it, what this is actually doing is putting you into the perfect alignment, like physically, spiritually, in every way. Um, so that your life is more in harmony and congruent to the truth that I was saying right in the very beginning of this reading of really discovering all those, these parts of yourself that maybe you tuck away all your dreams and wishes and hopes and who you want to be and all of those things. That's what this is talking about. So this is actually a huge, amazing month of personal growth that's going to put you right in alignment with where you need to be. So this is amazing. Um, this is a general reading. So if you'd like a personal reading, they are, I have them on sale this month. You can look down below in the um, comments section on where to look on my website and you can book an hour reading with me. Um, please do like, share with your friends, subscribe, and come join me on social media. I don't post a whole lot, but it's a lot of fun and it's spiritual and it kind of feeds the good vibes. So thank you so much, everyone. I wish you the best month ever this month. This is exciting. And I'll see you again next week. Bye. Hi, number two. How are you? Um, so what I'm going to do is shuffle up the cards and then lay them out for you. And I'm going to do that in fast motion and then we'll get to the reading. Okay, um, I'm just kind of taking in the story that the cards are telling me here. Um, I'm going to start with this one because this is the first one that I lay out. And this one, this one represents either you or the situation for the month. And this is an amazing card, everyone. Okay, group two. This is called New Direction. And this, it tells me two things. I always say this in my readings, wherever there are spirals showing up in a reading, there's a lot of energy. And this is about your growth and expansion. And with new direction, it means there is some sort of change a coming. And this change can be job um, or even like career change. This can be um, a change in important personal relationships and it can be a move so within the arena of one of those things I mean it could be other things I just I'm not feeling what else it could be just because it's a group reading but this is talking about things for April are coming to a place where you realize that the path needs to turn you know left or right or whatever that you, that the Traje trajectory that you've been on is no longer serving your greater purpose or highest good and that some changes are coming. Um, 
<laughs> what I love is that right down here. So this row is kind of the path. This row represents more what's going on um, in the physical world, okay? And this card sits right below that New Directions card. So this is like the support or the foundation for you guys this month. And so here you have things moving in a new direction with the New Directions card. And then you have this guy. And this one, I love when this card comes out. It's called Advancements. And it actually has some of the same things that the, the New Direction card is speaking of. Because it's talking about needing to make choices for yourself as far as career, um, job, relationships, school, you know, further education, like wh whatever that is. But this is something that's a little bit more on the major side. It's, it's not small changes in your life. These are major changes. And what the advancement card is talking about is really not listening to your head, you know, because your head just comes in with all this logic. Oh, well, logically I should, and logically I shouldn't, and all of that sort of stuff. And what that's saying is this isn't about logic. This is about you really honoring your heart and honoring your truth and honoring what your soul is like urging and pulling you. Like, cause it feels to me like the universe has just got you on this lead and it's pulling you saying, come on, come on already. It's a good thing. And that's why this card is called advancements, right? Um, it's because these changes that are that are coming up now, the change might actually happen in April, but it feels like the events leading up to change coming is what April is about for you guys. And, and it's important that you keep in mind that any of these changes are exactly what you need for your, because this is a spiral, for your growth, for your expansion to become bigger, better, stronger, you know, in every way, in the physical and in the spiritual, because one affects the other, right? And that's what this card is talking about. And that's the biggest support. So the biggest support for you is staying in your heart, getting out of your head, and really allowing yourself to, to honor those little nudges and gut feelings and heart callings, okay? Because that's what's really going to support you in making the absolute right choices and decisions for you. Now, what's amazing is in the same row, you have this card, and this actually came out. It's a hot card for, the, for our April readings. This came out in the first reading. And this card is called Receiving It. So I'm going to bring it up nice and close. Um, and I just realized the colors match the tulips for April, too. Um, this card, the receiving card, um, this is about you allowing yourself to receive from others instead of just being the one who is on output, giving, 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 giving that there has, you have to make a space to allow others to step in and assist you because sometimes you have to remember that, um, that the people that come into our lives and the people who come in to assist us, they, they aren't always acting out of their own thoughts. That spirit, you know, orchestrates the events and people in our lives to bring us what we need. And you have to allow yourself to let go a little bit and allow yourself to receive what is coming, coming for you guys. And this, to me, this feels like um, support in some way. So I don't know if that's financial support or even like, you know, emotional, moral support. I mean, there's definitely spiritual support because you have the two angel kind of type cards that are in this deck in this reading. So this is definitely spiritual support too, but it feels like either financial or um, 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 
moral support and emotional support from friends and things like that, you know, either like helping you with a move or helping you to get a, a new job or a different position or like something along those lines, right? It's a general reading, so the energy gets kind of muddled with so many inputs. But you get the gist of what's that that's saying. Like be open to receiving these advancements and changes that are coming. Just stay true to your heart and allow yourself to receive because you deserve it. You deserve it. I have to say that again. <laughs> I got that nudge. So I'm going to go up here to this higher row because if this is what's in the physical, what this row is talking about is what's going on um, on a spiritual level, what your higher lessons and learning is. And this card also came out in the first reading in a different position, but here we go. It's the self-talk card. So for those of you who are choosing two readings, I wouldn't doubt you chose the two readings that have this card in it. <laughs> Um, with the self-talk card, you know, on a higher lesson, higher learning is you learning, um, becoming aware of your thoughts, becoming aware of the words that you use with yourself. And I want to say that this is like along the lines of manifestation in that what we believe will always be reflected to us out in the world by other people, right? And this is kind of saying, okay, guys, it's time for a change. It's time for things, your life to move in a new way, in a new place. And for that to happen, you also have to start watching how you speak to yourself and that you are putting yourself in a place of empowerment instead of poo-pooing on yourself and saying, oh, you know, I'm not good enough and I shouldn't have done that. And why did I say that? I should never have said that. And, you know, all the things that we say to ourselves, I don't even have to tell you because we all do it, right? But that this is a huge lesson for you because the card that's parallel to it, that's also in this row of higher learning, is this. And it's amazing. You have the opening card. And this is like, you know, think of this as like reality, and then this little flap is opened and you're veering into the vastness, the infinity of the divine, of the universe. And this is talking about you really opening up um, intuitively and spiritually and that energy coming in to really support your life. So your life feels that it's congruent with that person that you feel you are inside, with that spiritual being that's inside of you, that divine being. Um, and so this is, you know, for many of you, I'd have to say you guys are, are quite intuitive and quite tapped into spirit. And I'm not just saying that because of that card, but because of these other cards that are sitting here as well. So this is like the journey or the path this month. So this, um, this card is called Loved Ones. And with the Loved Ones card, let me turn it, there we go. Um, that is the energy that is supporting you, that is moving you and nudging you. And so this card does talk about our special people, family, friends, and loved ones who have passed over. And that it's like, you know, this huge spiritual support Okay, um, and this is also a very angelic type card. If you can see this kind of being like shape, and then this this heart shaped energy just coming, emanating out of it, and it has a similar pattern in here to the awakening card, and that was what was making me feel like this is more about intuition for you guys because you have a kind of a pattern repetition so it's talking about opening to your intuitive gifts and abilities and really following the guidance of spirit and those those who love and support you on the other side who are who are nudging you and pulling I like I feel like it's more like pulling than nudging right because um there's a there, there might be a little bit of stubbornness uh kind of energy going on here um so if that's the energy that's supporting you, like the universe is like 
nudging you, moving you forward. This card represents the energy that gets you over the hump to from where you are to where you need to be. And this, this is the angelic being card. And that tells me that this is what is helping you to get through this is your own personal connection to spirit, your own you know, your, our angels and guides are here to support us and help us through this lifetime because it can be a really shitty, tough time down here. You know, earth school is not the funnest place to be, you know, and this is like that reassurance. I feel like spirit is trying to like ram it down your head that you are fully supported in the changes that you need to make. And it feels to me like, again, that's another, you know, spirit card. And it's relating me back to this, that feeling of really feeling intuitively led by your guides and angels and feeling like even though the choices that you, um, that you make, the decisions you have to make and the choice that you ultimately end up making, even if it doesn't make sense, to you, to your mind at the time, that that you need to follow it. You need to honor what you feel intuitively because it's literally opening your world right up, okay? Now, this it has got to be one of the most beautiful two cards sitting together because this kind of represents the, this journey for April, where things are heading. And you have... <laughs> the illuminate card and the confidence card together okay so the illuminate card is what it's talking about is through these changes that are coming it puts you in a position where you really feel like you are shining your light where you feel like you really are living a life that is congruent to your inside to your heart that you're allowing yourself to really put yourself out there because a part of the message with illuminate is that you have this love you are love that's what god the universe is is love and that you have these gifts and you are this light in this world and it puts you in a place where you are really allowing yourself to be and shine so you know there's such an an awesome outward opening kind of energy to this it's amazing and it puts you in a place of confidence of actually feeling like you're confident because a lot of the times you know I hear so many people and I'm, I'm the same way that you know we're scared to do things and like oh if I only had the confidence and it doesn't work that way. Confidence doesn't come first and then you do something. You man up, pull up your big girl panties or big boy underwear, depending on who you are, my viewer. And you pull them up and you go, I'm just going to do it, damn it. I'm going to do it. And, you know, it's scary. Uh, <laughs> you're just kind of flying on a, on a wing in a prayer. And you are literally flying on a wing in a prayer. And you need to trust that because in that step forward and through doing that, it is and seeing what it actually brings you is going to give you such an incredible amount of confidence. And I don't I feel like the other word I need to use is trust confidence in yourself, confidence in your intuition. Right. Because it's like it's the opening card is there and and a really a, a huge restoration of faith in spirit faith in yourself okay now we have one more card and this kind of represents kind of you know the it's called the final outcome but it's kind of like just it, the main just of where things will head for the end of the month and i feel like i need to shuffle the heck out of these i don't know why all right what is our final card for group number two there it is when I'm drawing cards, I just go, I eliminate any thinking and just go where my heart draws me to. The first card that draws me, that's the one I take. So, what? Do, <laughs> 
Now, this is funny for if anybody has watched reading number one, this was the same card that came as the final card. Oh, spirit's funny. Okay, so um, what this is saying. Now, there's, a, there's solid circles here in the background. And then there's a mirror of the, the same two circles. And it's like this wispy outline. And this is like you in your physical form and this is you your spirit self and what that's talking about this is called the alignment card and what that's talking about is that this whole thing that you're going through for april is actually putting you it's swinging you in alignment so that your spiritual life your spiritual beliefs your soul purpose path in life is in alignment is in alignment um, in the physical reality, right? That's what this card is talking about. So that's amazing. Um, you really need to need to trust yourself, guys. Trust your your inner guidance. Trust your guides, angels, whoever it is that you connect to. If that if those kind of things aren't your belief, um, just trust that there is some sort of higher power that is guiding you in your life, and it is taking you in the right direction. Okay. Now, this is a general reading, and I have my readings on sale this month, just so you know. Uh, and if you'd like a personal reading, you can check down below in the video description, and you can find all my contact information there and where to get the cards. Um, please do share, like, subscribe. Um, come see me on Instagram or Facebook. Again, all the information is down there. Um, you guys are in for an amazing month. I'm excited for you. All right. Namaste. Hi, group number three. How are you? Okay, so what I'm going to do is shuffle the cards on camera and lay them out. Um, and I'm going to do that in fast motion and so you can see and we'll get to the reading. Wow. Okay. Um, I'm just taking a second to um, take in this story here. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to always start with the first card in a Celtic spirit. Master number 44, Divine Guidance card. Okay. So whenever I have a spiral in a reading, it tells me there's a lot of energy. So... Um, this, there's a lot of healing for you guys going on this month, I have to say. Um, with the Divine Guidance card, um, what that's talking about is um, having come out of a situation where, you know, it's been emotionally difficult for you. Um, that could be just ending or recently ended. Um, but what it's talking about is that you are not alone in your strife you aren't alone in um when you're in your darkest times that that spirit is right here with you and it's like literally the divine is supporting you and nurturing you through this time and that each of these things and events that are happening are happening for a reason and it's a part of your soul's development and even though your conscious mind cannot comprehend how you've created this and why it's here you there's an element of just trusting that this is a part of your process to get you to your greatest path and expression in life and that you are completely supported and loved and nurtured and that you will make it through that's what this card is talking about and because this is here um, and the other cards that are supporting it, it's telling me that, that this is something that has recently come out of or you are coming out of like right now, early, early April, that there's that shift in energy because I need to go up here to this card. Okay, so this row represents the path and the journey this month. These two cards represent more like spiritual learning, higher lessons, that sort of thing. And what you have here is the light body guide. I know this is a crazy looking alien like card, um, but it's all good mojo. 
in this card. And this one is really, it's about, you know, we have these life experiences. That's kind of what I was saying. I didn't even mean to, but um, what I was saying with the Divine Guidance card is that we have these life experiences that are really designed for our our soul's evolution and this is a like a purification process it feels like that has been going on for you guys and I feel like for many 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 of you it is likely relationship and I would have to say probably personal relationship um, like intimate um, but that doesn't necessarily it's not the case for everybody but it just feels like that's the the stronger energy that's coming through in this reading but what this is talking about is that through this process that you've just been through or coming out of, there's there's a lot there's a huge energetic shifts that are happening for you, and so there's there's time you know a time lag between coming out of where you are and coming to this you know place or feeling of like restoration and um, feeling like you're rejuvenated and you're back on track and going. And one of the things with the light body guide, what it's talking about is that, um, you know, physically you might still feel run down under the weather. Um, and as these adjustments and changes that have been occurring or are going to be occurring, because I do have the feeling of that energy in there that you might feel a little bit off in your, in your physical body, but that it's okay because it's a part of it's a part of uh, the your process for this month. Um, the other card, now this card, everybody who's seen me shuffle these cards and lay them out, this card has come out in all three readings. What are the chances of that? So it's like all of you need this. And for you guys, because it's up here in this position, that's telling me this is a soul lesson. This is your higher learning. So this card is called receiving. And it is literally about learning to allow others to give to you. And I feel like for you guys in this group, this has a ton to do with your own feeling of worth and your own feelings of value and whether you feel like you deserve it or not. And um, it feels like I have to say that sometimes we don't feel supported because we have these deeper beliefs about our value and worth and because our these deeper negative beliefs say, I'm not worth it and I'm not worthy, then out in the world, you get this reflection back to you that people never give to you, that people never support you. You're there for everybody, but nobody's there for you, right? So it because we're creating that in our world, we create our world. And, and we're creating that to keep reinforcing those old beliefs. So even though this is the receiving card for you guys, I really feel like this is a lot of lessons for you around your worth, your value, and what you receive in the world. But there, there is, it's coming for you. Like it feels to me like there's this amazing, op like this is definitely an opening card. You have another opening card there. Um, and this is like a flower too. I'll get to that in a minute. But you have a lot of these opening cards and it feels like directly related to what you've been coming out of how April is like this really gentle beautiful blossoming and, and really coming back into your your spiritual center and into your heart in a way that's you know gentle and loving and stuff like that now if I come down here to this row this represents more what's going on on the physical level. And on the physical, we have mm -mm -mm, Archangel Michael card. And that is literally what supports you or feels like a, a foundation for you this month. You know, So if you look at it this way, this is the hard time or the difficult situation or whatever. Um, and here you have Archangel Michael as the main support supporting you and helping you to feel strong and get through this and come through the other side and april feels like this is the flip of the switch if it hasn't switched already for you um 
The other thing with that Archangel Michael, I have to say, is that Archangel Michael card comes when, when we need to cut some cords in our life, you know, because not everybody does serve a purpose for us. But sometimes people serve the purpose, but we still have, you know, these attachments. And um, for those who aren't super spiritual, it's like this energetic cord that keeps you tied to the other person, even though really you don't need to have that person in your life anymore. And it, and it keeps that we kind of like keep them held to us and keep them in our lives. And this is saying that this is a process of April is kind of like your reassessment month of, of assessing who stays and who goes. And then with love and um, gratitude and forgiveness of them and yourself to release that, cut that cord, and, and send that person off, okay? Um, so there are going to be some choices and decisions coming for you guys this month. The other card we have here is the un on target card. And I feel like that spirit's way of really giving you the like big thumb, thumbs up. And it feel, that's that feeling of things opening up that even though it, it's been bumpy and rough and all of those things, it's really put you exactly in the place that you need to be for right now. Okay. And any of the goals and things that you have coming up, like for April is a month where you start to see some results, you know, the, the, the fruits of your inner labors kind of um, manifesting or coming to fruition this month. Now, in this main row, this is the energy that is supporting you and moving, moving in your path this month. And this card is the cellular healing card. Now, with the cellular healing card being here, um, I said this in, in the first reading or whichever reading it came in, um, that like when we have emotional situations, um, we tend to hold our breath and what happens when we hold our breath during an emotional crisis or situation is that it lodges those emotions into our bodies, literally cellularly. Okay. And so what this is talking about is being focused on that release, releasing all of these old emotions, releasing this from the body. And that's why the light body guide is here because the light body guide is talking about, um, changes in your physical body, um, and as a part of your development and then, and it's mirroring this as not just one of your higher lessons, but like you're actually working that energy now. And it's that whole releasing of people and releasing of these stored emotions that kind of frees you up to blossom and open here on the other end of the reading. Do you see what I mean? Um, so if that's the energy that's kind of pushing you forward this month, this beautiful card is the card. This acts like a bridge to get you from where you are going down your path this month. And this card also came out in another reading. This is the opening card. And with this card, this is like physical reality. And this, it, it's like a little flap is opened and you are veering into infinity to the vast greatness of the divine, of the universe, okay? And so that tells me there's a big, um, not just an emotional release, but an actual shift because the light body guide is here, a, a real shift into more of your spiritual path and your spiritual growth and really honoring and acknowledging what makes you feel supported in your heart and in your soul because it's putting you way more in alignment to your spiritual path. That's the whole point of this. And the reason I say that is because you have this card sitting here. And this card is the awakening card. And this is talking about having um, deeper spiritual awareness, like waking up to your, your greater purpose, to your path. Um, this is about becoming 
very much more in alignment with who you truly are as a soul, you know, and there's time for contemplation and prayer and all of those things that are going on that, that you will need to embrace because it's a big spiritual awakening for you. Um, now you do have the, um, <laughs> elemental card. Yes, I did make these cards. I don't know what's going on. Um, you have the elemental card and this one is talking about really, um, connecting with nature and it's like this is like a living mindfulness meditation like you know taking walks out on in nature and sitting within the stillness of the energy of living things that aren't people um it's about this is also about very being very aware about the food that you're putting into your body and if it's nurturing you and how it's nurturing you and becoming in in tune with the energy in our food so for you guys i mean you have the cellular healing card here and the elemental card which talks about food and stuff so there must be for many of you some element of physical healing um that's required or taking place this month um, and it feels really good. It feels like everything shifts for you guys. Now, um, there is one more card. And normally what I've been doing is just pulling it out of the deck for the final card. But as you saw earlier, this card had fallen out. Um, this card had fallen out. And so I feel like I, I wanted to save it for you guys because I feel like this card is the final message kind of thing for the reading. <laughs> okay all right so this card is called nectar of life and i feel like this is spirit's way of just like wrapping their arms around you and giving you this big hug because the nectar of life card is about enjoying the sweetness of life and enjoying all of the beautiful things and people and situations and physical things in our world in our life you know like enjoying those beautiful flowers that you buy for yourself or whatever you know whatever it's pertaining to um and if you know it comes along with this whole mindfulness thing of really putting your focus onto the things that bring you joy and bring you pleasure and make your heart feel good and make your soul feel good and by doing that what you focus on you bring more of into your life so april is definitely a month where you guys get to enjoy some of the sweeter things in in your life right because you've done you're still going to be doing some of the work here but the majority of the the hardest part is over or just ending okay and so you get to come into all this juicy goodness so that's amazing now um this is a general reading uh so you know my personal readings are on sale uh so if you'd like a personal reading you can look down below in the video description and uh, you can see where to contact me where to get the cards where to find me on instagram and facebook all the info's there and I really want to thank you for sharing the video with your friends and subscribing and liking the video. That really makes a big difference. So I, you guys are up for an amazing month. I just want to say thank you. I'm honored to do your reading. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye.